Jai Shri Krishna. This is the traditional way to make the dolia roti. It's called dolia roti in Sindhi and puri in other languages. Look how it's fermented and it is so porous. Now we shall begin the recipe. Jai Shri Krishna, Jai Shri Ramachandra, Jai Shri Lakshmi Indusimha. Today we are seeing this amazing dough that is very good for health. This is fermented one night before. Uh, to say exactly, it's fermented yes, it was made yesterday. And today we are going to use it. Uh, this dough is very nutritious and it's very beneficial for all kinds of diseases and this in boosts up our immunity this is frequently used to make puri it's called the dolia roti in our language sindhi so now i'm going to show you the spices that are involved in making the dough even more tastier as well as healthier now i'm going to show you each one of the spices and these spices are very nutritious this is red chili powder you may powder it at your own home because it's such an easy powder not even like the sambar powder even the sambar powder we powder at home and we make it roast it and do all the processes at home here is turmeric powder turmeric powder is, has amazing nutritional facts and this one is powdered at home and we have recently harvested our turmeric too and this one we are going to shortly powder it and uh, this one is from the market we just buy the turmeric we again sort it if there is any bad portion or anything we can just remove it and we sun dry it well and then we powder it at home itself this is Sindhava salt this is found in the river Sindhu and this was the part of India before and this is an amazing salt from the river itself directly we buy this this is garam masala this is made out of many spices such as cinnamon uh, lavanga and many other things so this also we prepare at home itself yeah this is garam masala this was uh, actually mango powder this uh, we just buy the mangoes the raw mangoes that are the totapuri variety we just buy them and we, uh, my mother cuts them into pieces, into slits and slices and she dries them. They'll be thin so they get dried faster and then we powder them. This is garam masala that is made, up, uh, made out of cinnamon as I told you earlier. This is coriander powder. This is an amazing uh, thing that can cure even running noses, uh, even running nose. And this is amazing that we have powdered it again at home. We powder everything at home and even this we buy the rock form and then we powder it at home. Now I'm going to show you how to mix each one of these ingredients well. Now I'm going to mix all these ingredients. I'm adding all of these in. Mixing it is a little difficult now because it's already fermented but when you add it directly to the floor both are powders so it gets mixed well. Now it will be a little difficult but yeah it's very easy to mix it. And now my mother is going to fry it and I'm just helping her with some work in the side that is to mix this dough. This dough, uh, this puri is even good to make it at even breakfast. You can make it at any time and this is so fast. You can also make fresh uh, uh, dough and you can make puri out of it. It doesn't require and it's not compulsory to have uh, a dough that is made a night before. In here, uh, a small note. It is that 
we should not be keeping the dough for too much time it may also catch fungus so it's best to keep only one night before that too even if air pour uh, air, air uh, touches it then it gets a layer formed on the top and then it will be very difficult to again make it the proper dough and so we should close it well and keep it and now I will mix it and show you afterwards now the dough is completely mixed well as you can see I mixed it uh, with the help of punching it this way and then again lifting it like this keeping it back and folding it this way now I will show you after molding it into a, a circular shape and I am also going to show you how to make small balls out of it that is called chanyu in Sindhi now I have molded it into a circular shape and we are going to make small tiny balls out of it you can just pluck a small piece out this way and just make a ball out of it you can just press it this way and keep it separate this is how we make the balls now I have made seven small balls out of this in the same manner you can make several balls and tiny balls and fry it uh, after flattening it now my mother is going to flatten it and fry it now my mother is flattening it with her hands we generally use a rolling pin but to preserve the porous and uh, fermenting uh, fermented nature of this dough we are flattening it with the hand this is my mother now she is going to deep fry it in pure coconut oil that we have uh, made at home now this is oil that is heated in a pan my mother is putting all the flattened pieces inside it's coconut oil yeah it's pure coconut oil and we make it it's just a simple process we make it by ourselves we first buy the coconut from the market then we just cut it into half dry it in the sunlight throw away the pieces which are spoiled or caught with fungus and uh, there is an oil mill over here just nearby we go and get the oil done we have to wait patiently until the puris are brown this is an indication that the puris are well fried and they are completely cooked Some puris are already getting brown. So I think can you remove them earlier? Yeah. This is stubborn puri. Some may not get cooked because the fire would not be reaching until there. So first we remove the ones that are brown and then we toss the ones that are still yellowish. Now these are the puris that are completely fried. So thank you. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Ramachandra. जय श्री लक्ष्मी नरसिंह